Hey guys, this is Frozen Things Theories here, and welcome to part 27 of the Frozen Awards 2023 Best Picture. Yes, I know um, you guys um, have been waiting for me to do this as I've been um, building uh, uh, all, all the award uh, categories uh, to uh, this one moment right here. Uh, best Picture. Now, this award category uh, goes to uh, the true movie of event of the year. Uh, it doesn't have to be the best made or the best written movie because um, this is this mainly goes to my personal favorite movie of the year. Uh, again, it doesn't have to be well made or like well written. I mean, it has to be like something that means a lot. Of course, well, all the movies in this in this category are well written films and well made, but like, um, there can be like a a, a movie that they win that's actually better made than what whatever wins because uh, this movie um. Uh, this one movie that double win just really feels close to me like feels like my close friend uh, it has to mean a lot to me it has to um re really um resonate with me and yeah uh, and other things yeah so yeah without further ado here are the 10 nominees for best picture avatar the way of water the batman black panther wakanda forever Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness, Everything Everywhere All at Once, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, The Northman, Scream, Top Gun Maverick, The Whale, and the award for Best Picture goes to Da Avatar The Whale of Water. Yep, yeah, people, you probably already guessed this obvious win. Avatar The Way of Water, everyone knows it's my favorite film of the year, and I don't care what the haters say, it's sad to see that people still uh, hate this movie, um, even like after a lot of us were, were convincing you guys to uh, never doubt James Cameron and then, and uh, then trust him, mainly because of how uh, James Cameron, um, because of how yeah, James Cameron really knows how to make a sequel, I already mentioned that in my best uh, director um speech like how uh james cameron nailed it with aliens and uh terminated the judgment day showing that he can make a he knows how to make sequels better than the original and avatar the way of water is literally twice the movie that both uh um terminated two and aliens were some people say this is worse than the first film and this, this has a lower lower rating than the first film in the when it comes to their critics well to be fair um the first film did get great reviews at the time. I mean, if Avatar came out now, I think it, that film will get a much uh, lower score than uh, this sequel. I think it, the first movie would be like in the low 70s or something. Uh, so that's fair. I, it's, it's kind of fair that this movie is a lower rating than like, you know, the first film, which was initially um, praised at the time. Uh, but yeah, um, yeah, Avatar and Way of Water, um, I will defend these Avatar movies until the day I die. I think these movies uh, don't deserve a hate and maybe later on in the future uh, in, in a, maybe an Avatar movie in the future could actually get the appreciation that uh, it deserves but to be honest um, Avatar Way of Water is so good that I don't know how the other uh, future Avatar sequels will top this um, there's a high chance that this could end up being the best Avatar movie in general maybe Avatar 5 could most likely be top this but Avatar 3 and 4, well, they're both my most anticipated movies of their respective year, unless if Frozen 2 comes out in 2024. But, um, they, they, um, I don't know how they'll top this one. I actually didn't really think that Avatar The Way of Water would be the best movie of the year. I thought it was going to go to a different movie, but the fact that this movie was actually my favorite movie of the year is a huge accomplishment. Yeah, this movie absolutely feels like an event. It, feels like an experience of watching this in, in, in theaters and this is hands down the best uh, cinema experience I've ever had uh, watching this tw like twice in 3D IMAX and one in uh, regular 3D cinema I saw all of them in 3D so I don't know how this really uh, feels like in 2D well we shall see when I watch this at home but yeah um, yeah I mean everything about this movie is perfect I wouldn't change a single thing um, of course the visuals um, do I need to say how good the visuals are? Literally the best visuals I have ever seen put in a film period. There's no movie that uh, is uh, better looking than, than Avatar The Way of Water. I find even the first film, uh, 
uh, at the time was uh, the, the best looking movie ever made. No movie in the 2010s decade looks better than this. Well, I would say Frozen 2 does match the Avatar um, movies because the animation in Frozen 2 is, is like um, Avatar, um, it, it's like Avatar level um, visuals, but, um, but just animation. But yeah, um, Avatar level of water is just too good. I mean, I mean the, though the cinematography, the beautiful shot, sounds, uh, the CGI and the production design, which yeah, I kind of regret not giving this movie the win for production design. I think this movie truly deserves the best production design and everything. Um, but even the story and characters are well written. Yes, I would agree that the story is not one of my favorite uh, links in the film, but it's still a really good story that the... Yes, I understand people say this is a rehash of the first film, but they didn't really criticize for... Well, most people didn't really criticize Force Awakens for being the same as the first. And to be fair, Terminator 2 was the same movie as the first film. Like, did anyone else notice that? I mean, just because a sequel is, has this, has similar story beats to the first film doesn't make it make it a bad film. I mean, if Terminator 2 uh, gets praised uh, despite it being the same as the first film, I think this movie should too, should get credit. Uh, I mean, this is a movie uh, about family, like, um, a really like touching message about family, how family stick stick together, like the, the power of family. Like I've never seen seen messages messages about family told it like, like as deep as this one. And yeah, um yeah, and, and even the dialogue is well written. Like so many lines I can think of that is just so good. But I think um what tops the story a lot more even more is the characters. I would say besides the, the technical the technical aspects, uh, the character is, is one of the best aspects of Avatar. Um, I mean, Jake and, Jake and Nate theory were uh, better than they've ever been in the first film. And But to me personally, it's the kids who stand out. You know, you got so, Nate Young, who is pretty much in, uh, in my top... He doesn't quite make my top five characters, but he's still awesome. We got Loak, um... And then you also um got the uh, Tok who is adorable. You got the um villagers um like who yeah two of the villagers maybe like probably um the weakest link of the film but um but then you got uh, Sireya who is probably the most likable character in the film and she is hot. But my favorite character in the film to me has to be Kiri. Yeah, Kiri is my favorite. Uh, I mean, I, I, I still stand by awarding uh, Sigourney Weaver for her, her performance as uh, Kiri. The fact that a, a, a 73-year-old actress playing a teenager and actually able to nail it perfectly really um, sh um, shows how acting can be taken to the next level. Yeah, Sigourney Weaver pretty much took her acting uh, to the next level. And Kiri is a character I really resonate with a lot. And... And I do acknowledge that this movie kind of has a smart, smarter scale when it comes to the action scenes. They're still better. Just because a movie is smarter scale doesn't mean it's uh, better. I, I hear people criticize the movie for having a scale be too small, but then like, but then like other move, other blockbusters get, get criticized to be for being overly ambitious. But I mean, the final battle is just epic. Like I mean, it's, there's still like a lot of like you know people getting hurt, a lot of destruction and stuff. Uh, and uh, and pretty much a, a scene where um, you get worried for your characters. You, you think the characters are going to die, but then uh, they get saved. Uh, well, even and, and even one member of the family dies and get, gets killed off. Uh, that is something I did not expect. I didn't think one of the characters would get killed off. And again, um, the final battle is even more epic than the first one. I was not prepared for this uh, final battle. The Simon Franklin score is uh, definitely um, supports uh, this epic battle. And um, and yeah um, and in the end, this movie also this movie also made me tear up. Uh, yeah. So was it there to say that I haven't really said about this movie? This, um, yeah. I mean, say what you want about the story. Um, but this movie pretty much, uh, yeah. I mean, has a really good story. I will defend the story and the characters till the day I die. But. Yeah, if you think the visuals are bad, then you clearly don't understand the film. Yeah. This movies like this is the reason why you can't bet against someone like James Cameron, one of the greatest directors of all time. And this movie is right up there with Frozen 2 and No Time to Die as one of the greatest movies of all time. I still, um, I'm still debating on which movie is truly better, this or No Time to Die. But yeah, right now, I, 
still prefer No Time Die slightly better, but maybe on rewatch, uh, um, when it comes to digital, Avatar Way of Water could uh, um, become truly my favorite movie of the decade and second favorite movie of all time and favorite live action movie. Yeah, thank God this movie um, got nominated for, for Best Picture. It truly uh, deserves it more, uh, like, more than ever. So yeah, I've never been more proud to, to award Avatar Way of Water the best movie of the year for Best Picture. So that concludes my Frozen Awards 2023. That was a lot of fun, like so much fun, like uh, doing my award show, uh, which is uh, vastly superior to the Oscars. But yeah, um, now th- th- my Frozen Awards 2023 has come to an end. So yeah, what are your thoughts on uh, my Frozen Awards? Do you think it's the best award show ever? Uh, yeah, stay tuned for my, yeah more videos to come and definitely my frozen awards uh 2024 uh so yeah um bye guys